If you think dedication meets passion, where service intertwines with community, some individuals illuminate the path forward with their unwavering commitment and tireless efforts. Among them stands Carol Fulcher, a beacon of selfless service and extraordinary leadership. Born in 1961 in Ishpeming, Michigan, Carol's journey of service began early in life. Raised amidst the rich cultural tapestry of Finnish and Italian heritage, Carol learned the values of hard work, perseverance, and community from her parents, Shirley and Francis Nardi. As the fourth of six children, she understood the importance of unity and support from a young age. Carol's first foray into service came through her childhood role as the neighborhood babysitter, where she cultivated a sense of responsibility and care for others. Her hard work paid off when in eighth grade, she earned enough money to purchase her first 10-speed bicycle, granting her newfound freedom and love for outdoor exploration. After graduating from Ishpeming High School, Carol pursued higher education at Northern Michigan University, obtaining a two-year degree amidst challenging economic times. In the early 1980s, with unemployment rates soaring, Carol embarked on a journey to California where she found solace in the outdoors and forged lifelong friendships with fellow Youpers. In California, Carol embraced outdoor adventures from downhill skiing to mountain biking, discovering a deep passion for exploration and recreation. This passion inspired her to complete a long distance bike trip from Seattle to Ishpeming, riding 2,100 miles in 21 days. After an adventurous life on the West Coast, she returned to her roots in the Upper Peninsula in 1989. Back in the UP, Carol resumed her education at NMU, earning a four-year marketing degree while immersing herself in community activities. Her dedication to promoting the region's natural beauty and cultural heritage shone through as she became involved in various organizations, from the Ishpeming Ski Club to the Ishpeming Nagani Area Chamber of Commerce. In August of 1984, she married her husband, Jim, a fellow bike enthusiast. In 1995, they welcomed their first child, Allie, and their son, Shane, was born in 1997. In 1998, Carol's career took a transformative turn when she secured a position with the Ishpeming Nagani Chamber of Commerce. It was during this time that she had the pleasure of meeting Kelly Barry Angeli, from the Marquette Chamber and Amy Klickner, who was part of the newly formed Economic Development Organization. Together with their respective boards, they embarked on a collaborative journey to merge their three entities into the expanded Lake Superior Community Partnership. One of Carol's crowning achievements started while she was at the partnership through her relentless advocacy for the Rail Trail Project, which paved the way for the creation of the Iron Ore Heritage Trail Recreation Authority. Through her vision and determination, Carol played a pivotal role in establishing the Iron Ore Heritage Trail as a beloved feature of the community, enriching the lives of residents and visitors alike. All of the people involved with the trail, all the people that are involved now and have been involved, felt that Carol was our leader. You know, we went to her for, I know we had a president, but I think Carol was the heart of the trail. Her leadership enabled the trail to shine a light on our region's history and blend it with nature. Many call the Iron Ore Heritage Trail an outdoor linear museum where you can exercise your body and mind. Tourism is economic development and so what she was able to do with the Iron Ore Heritage Trail and create that authority was just tremendous for this community and for all of our visitors. So I, I think that you can't put a dollar value on what Carol has done for this community in this region and the Upper Peninsula. Just a wonderful person. She was uh, great to work with. I really miss her a lot. She, uh, like I said, she was the backbone of the Iron Ore Heritage Rec Authority. So. Throughout her career, Carol's impact extended far beyond her professional endeavors. She dedicated herself to numerous organizations and causes, from the Nukamanon Ski Marathon to the Carp River Kiln Restoration Project, leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of the community. 
As Carol enters retirement, her legacy of service and leadership is a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Her contributions have transformed the landscape of our community, leaving behind a legacy of inspiration and hope for future generations. The Lake Superior Community Partnership is fortunate that Carol has had an unwavering commitment and a profound impact on Marquette County. Her legacy will continue to inspire us for years to come. Carol exemplifies distinguished service and is most deserving to be named the 2024 Distinguished Service Award winner.